Joining me now is NBC News' Stephanie Gosk and Dr. Aditi Nirukar, a physician at Harvard Medical School. We'll start with the, the vaccine for the younger kids. Is it, is it actually worth it? You know, what's interesting, Katie, is that when we look at the data, it is very promising. We see a robust antibody response that is on par with the ages of 18 to 25. It's this metric called immunobridging. And with this elevated antibody response, we are thinking that it will protect against severe outcomes. When we're thinking about the goal of vaccination, it's to prevent severe outcomes, not necessarily symptomatic disease. When you are talking to parents who are not excited about or just don't feel like the urgency is there for their individual kid because they don't feel there's going to be a severe outcome. I, I'm just curious, if I'm looking at my child, what sort of things should I be watching out for to say, hey, listen, my kid might be the one who might have a severe outcome? So the American Academy of Pediatrics just put out a report several days ago to show that the cases have risen over the past weeks. 43% increase in cases. I believe as a physician and public health expert that every child should be vaccinated. We vaccinate our children for many other illnesses to prevent severe outcomes. COVID should be no different. You know, we really moved into the individual decision-making and risk stratification phase of the pandemic. The decision should be in the hands of pediatricians and parents, and therefore the FDA should approve this vaccine. Dr. Nurekar, thank you so much. Stephanie Gosk, good to see you. Nice to see you too, Katie.